my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me the follow Hey YouTube, my name is Kenny, thank you for checking out the channel So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is working on the 92 Yamaha Banshee We have a couple things in particular that we're gonna be working on But first, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe Hit that notification bell so you get notifications every time I upload a video. We're trying to get this channel to grow. I do have this Banshee that I'm going to be working on as well as that one. And then a complete video of the YFZ450 that we're going to be doing. And I have a CR250. I think it's a 90 something. I'll probably post a date right here what it is. But I'm going to be restoring that as well. But let's get this big issue worked on. What we're going to be doing is getting all the hardware that's in here finished. We're going to get it repowder coated, get it all cleaned up, get it looking clean so it looks better being in there. So one, two, three, a couple bolts going around. We're also going to be Cerakoting or getting the exhaust pipes ready to be Cerakoted. So check out this video if you like this kind of content. We're going to get right into it. All right, so here are the exhaust pipes. Pretty sure you can't see them really good, but they look kind of rough what came on the 05 i did sell the dg ones but we've gotten them cleaned up <laughs> no we're going to get them cleaned up and we're going to get it looking like this one here this one here has already been sandblasted i do have a little bit of rust on it now because i washed it the water hose as you can see but really really dull all that shine All that shine and stuff is off there. Kind of have an aluminum look to them, but they are the FMF Gold Series is what we're gonna be working with. Feel the power. We also have the slip on and things that we're gonna get done. I'm gonna debate on how far to break those down. And actually I might not. I actually just powder coated them up real good, put them in the oven and do like a gas out to try to clean the outside off as best as I can because I am getting the Cerakote in the mail, hopefully in the next two or three days. It is the air cure, so it won't need to be in the oven. So it probably won't be really any need to just disassemble those. But, all right, let's get rolling with this. Get our pipe here, get it. All right, so while I'm doing the sandblasting with that piece, what I'm also going to do is get these parts blasted as well, get them powder coated, get them in the oven, so I can hit two birds with one stone and not waste a whole bunch of time. So we're going to show you what this hardware looks like, do some blasting on it as well. I'm going to powder coat these little pieces here. It looks like they're not black. Yeah, I'm going to powder coat them black. So here's the hardware, nuts and bolts do not look the best. Heads are going to get powder coated black on these, black on these, and we're going to get the heads and the nuts all blacked. Get it looking pretty much new. Get that installed. Get the motor stationary where it should be, and then we'll be finishing up this exhaust. All right, so we got all the hardware tips. They said the shafts don't really matter, but we got all the tips and everything powder coated black and looking real good. So we're going to go ahead and get these installed yeah those pipes both look good done this is just some black powder coat from why i had these hung up but soon be getting those cerakoted and on now for the sake of the video i am going to just let you know so these of removal i am going to just put a little bit of my anti-seize on these right here just because in the future, I want it to be able to come back out. We all know how challenging that can be with these pieces of hardware. Short one goes in the rear. Thank you. 
All right, we're also gonna put this bushing here up. We're gonna put that on this side here because the other one is on the back side over there. It's just the bumper. Grab a hold of the front of the motor and just lift it up. Start feeding that bolt through. So now that we have the bolt through, you can see how that just sits right on there. We're gonna use our other mount here. Probably would have been better if I would have went ahead and took my washer off this side. So we just lift that up, take it back out, and do it again. Same thing, just a little bit of anisease on these. We'll lift them up in the down there. Yeah, hot fronts and the lowers are in. We just gotta tighten up the main bolt. I haven't done that yet because I'm gonna switch up this long one that I put in the back just for the time being. So we're gonna get that swapped up real quick and then the motor is gonna be in and solid. No beating. Let's see if I can run it in. Yeah, and it'll just thread itself through. Too much invested in time to beat it all up. So with the exhaust air coating that we're gonna be doing, I am gonna make sure I try my best to do things by the book. So one of the steps is we have the parts in the oven at 300 degrees. You smell the two stroke oil. And it's been about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, but the instructions say for at least 30, give or take to just do any kind of burn off and make sure we get that out. Once we take the parts out, I am just gonna hang them here to let them dry. But from now on, I am going to be handling them with gloves on because I don't want to transfer any of this oil on the shiny head over to the parts and have any issues with the Cerakote sticking. So let's get it out. All right, so it's about 220, over 300 degrees in there. We have the silences in there now. We're gonna give those 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so. Probably come back out close to three o'clock. Get those hung up as well. Get everything positioned and hopefully start spraying some color. So we're at time, about 3.06. So it's been over 30 minutes. Go ahead and get these silencers pulled on out and we're gonna start coating. So here are the two Cerakotes that I purchased. Glacier Silver and Armor Black. So I have a sizable hand. 
So they're not small. That's plenty of material. This is gonna last me for a long time using this, as well as using this one. We're gonna get these motors and stuff looking amazing. But I just wanna let you all see what I'm gonna be using. We basically need to strain it. I have a little strainer that I'm gonna use. I don't know if it's a hundred mesh, but and we're just gonna use one of those basic Harbor Freight guns. We're going to go ahead and just hang up these hangers first. Put one right there where it should be. Next thing we're going to do with the freshly cerakoted pipe is make sure we get our O-rings back down in here where they belong. And if it's good enough for the motor, it should be good enough for this. I'm just going to put a little bit of anaerobic in there. Just to help give me a nice, good seal. So I don't have to worry about anything leaking and getting oil all out there. We're going to take our first black hitter pipe. Just going to go down here. Now we have some springs that we can use, but they're kind of beat up. So I'm going to be ordering new ones just to make sure I keep this whole build looking fresh. And we are going to place our coupler Man, that looks absolutely amazing. All right, YouTube, so we got the coating done to the FMF exhaust system for the Banshee. So as you see, this is gonna be the 92 and we're gonna keep moving along with it. This is the only thing that is not gonna be kind of like OEM looking on the machine. So I did wanna keep the, you know, retro look to it and have the exhaust black. I didn't want big chrome pipe sticking out or anything. So we did do that black, it came out amazing. Flip it over, talk about the process one more time get you on your way all right so it wasn't so bad getting the exhaust into my sandblasting cabinet was the biggest challenge <laughs> now, like the sandblasting took every bit of two hours so you sandblast and you have to make this whole thing go from chrome to being dull and flat you got to take all that shine off of it 
So once we took all that shine off of it, I did have to take the exhaust apart where the silencer and then the mid pipe took those apart so they'd fit in the cabinet as well. We got all of the sand blasted in, as I stated, about two hours. So you left the FMF on there. And then the next day I came out, I got the Cerakote in the mail and I hit it all with brake cleaner. And the brake cleaner was just my method of just degreasing it and getting it cleaned up, getting all the fingerprints off, all the extra soot from the sandblasting cabinet and everything. So we hit it with that, got it real cleaned it up and then threw it in the oven. And that is the footage that you all saw. I did put this in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes per piece. So the expansion chambers went in first, then the silencers went in and we did just gassed out, cooked them. You could be freaking 30 foot away from the building area to where I was doing this and smell the two stroke. <laughs> but we got that done. We hung them up, let them cool down. We got the Cerakote and it sprayed fine. They're my larger Harbor Freight HVLP gun. And the reason that I went with the larger of the HVLP gun is just because my smaller one, I lost the cap. Now, good that I went with a larger one because I did get clogged like once. And I can imagine that the smaller one would have gotten clogged a lot more. But overall, it worked great. Out of the pint, what you saw was a huge amount. I used maybe like an inch, an inch and a half. So I have plenty to do plenty of the projects in the future. And now that I have a better feel for it, I think that I'll do pretty good with it.